this comes down to left-wing politics. The left-wing wants me out of here, and they'll do anything in their power to. And I'm going to fight tooth and nail um, to hold on to my job. And, and if they do, for some reason, uh, get me out, I'll be running right back at them. Uh, as soon as the next election is, if there's a by-election, I'll have my name first one on the ballot. So thank you very much, everyone. That's Mayor Rob Ford saying, yeah, no, I'll let the people decide, not one judge. What do you think, Jerry? Well, I don't know that the people are going to get to decide. That's the downside of this thing. I mean, one judge does get to decide that he's out. Now, of course, the, there's 14 days to determine whether or not he gets a stay. Mm -hmm. And then there's 30 days to, uh, for an appeal. It sounds as though Rob Ford, not surprisingly, will try and fight these things, but there's no guarantee he'll win them. Yeah. You know what? I, I mean, Rob Ford clearly broke the letter of the law. I mean, just, yes. to, just to reiterate, he used the wrong stationery for some charity fundraising. And then instead of saying, yeah, I made a mistake, he sort of said, no, uh, I didn't do anything of any substance. This is a trifle. And That's he spoke right. and voted about it. So to, from using Toronto stationery instead of Rob Ford stationery for a charitable fundraiser, so now he's being yanked out of the mayor's chair. I, yeah. I find this stunning. I find it such an overreaction. I don't dispute that what he did was, on the face of it, not the right thing to do. But for God's sakes, to sack a mayor over it. Well, and this is this is a city council and and a city where anybody who got a you know is championing what happened here and saying that the rule of the law was upheld. This is a, a city with a guy named Kyle Ray who went out going as a councillor, spent twelve thousand taxpayer dollars on a party for himself, and they said no, that's fine. Yeah. And another councillor, Sandra Busson, who raised a bunch of money for uh, supposedly for sports teams, but she named the teams after herself. It was an advertising ploy, right? Huh. That was okay. And did she use uh, Toronto Stationery for that also? No, she used taxpayer dollars. Uh, but but what he really got nailed on was when the vote came down to whether or not he should pay the money back. Yeah. And council, by the way, was going to vote that he didn't have to. Right. He voted. Right. And that's what they nailed him on, yeah. that he voted on, on a conflict of interest. You know and what? by the way, yeah. Ezra, basically I'm, I'm saying uh, that I blame Mayor Ford because he's playing against a vicious team who wanted to defeat him, and he, and he basically committed an unforced error. He gave them their opportunity. Yeah. yeah, you're right. I mean, he's stubborn, but the way he's treated is the way no other mayor in this country would be treated simply because he conservative. Let me show you the nominal plaintiff here, the guy, the normal citizen, yeah. and he explains what really made him mad, not the, the facts of the matter, right. but for his ideology. Let's look at Paul Magder. I know there are a lot of people living in Toronto who probably wouldn't say that they love it here. I believe for many of them it's because they're struggling. We need to help them with their struggles. We need to help each other. Those of us who are lucky enough to be able to appreciate and benefit from living here are responsible to make that a reality for as many as our, of our fe fellow citizens as we can. That's what government is all about. Jerry, not a word about conflict of interest or a vote or stationary. This was about the struggle. I mean, this is a Marxist struggle. And that's what it was. It, yeah. That kind of Marxist rhetoric, the struggle, the struggle, didn't work in the election, but it worked in court. Well, I mean, it's a legitimate conversation to have, but that conversation, as you said, was had during the election. And with, there were yeah. 20, 20 people running, yeah. and yeah. Rob Ford got 47% of the yeah. vote. Yeah. The, the, that struggle was over. The, Rob Ford won, and yeah. what he betrayed, Magda, in that little speech that you just played, was that this had nothing to do yeah. with wanting to have a fair politics. Yeah. Another way of looking at it is what lawyer came forward? Well, Clayton Ruby, who's never met a Marxist cause he didn't support. Here's a clip of Clayton Ruby. Look at this comparison Clayton Ruby makes. Just unbelievable. Look at this, Jerry. Given the fact that Mayor Ford was elected with just shy of 50% of the vote, that's more than any other politician in the nation, do you think that him being unseated by an unelected judge goes too far? Well, it can't. Um, we all understand when we, we run for office in a democracy that it's a, it's a democracy. The, the, the lovely example recently is Egypt, of course, where the man was elected uh, by a considerable majority and then immediately became, as some people put it, a pharaoh, making his own edicts, purporting to overturn the court decisions he didn't like. So you got Clayton Ruby comparing Mayor Rob Ford, who raised money for a charity on the wrong stationery. Okay, fine, I grant you that. But not for himself. No, for, for, for a sports charity for kids. Comparing right. him to Mohammed Morsi, the head of the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt, who has taken on dictatorial powers. That, in Clayton Ruby's mind, that's the comparison 
with yeah. Mayor Rob Ford. Well, I think if Clayton Ruby were better at this, he, used, he would have used Hitler. <laughs> I, I, I mean, that's how stupid that is. Yeah. And so both of them there in their press conference this morning, in their big moment of victory, yeah. actually took the time to tell us what they're really about. Yeah. You know what? I, I say again, he shouldn't have used city stationary, but for God's sakes, the, where's the discretion here? I looked at the law, the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. Uh, remedies include a reprimand, but instead they sack a mayor? We've got Joe Fontana, the mayor of London, Ontario, facing four criminal charges. We had Jean Chrétien preside over Ad Scam, a $250 million kickback scheme to the Liberal Party. There were criminal charges, but not against Chrétien. I mean, it, it, it's, it's so obvious to me, Jerry, that the reason Rob Ford was targeted with lawfare is because he didn't lose the election like the Liberal elites thought he should have. Well, that's right. And yet still the reason that I'm upset with Rob Ford, a man yeah. I voted for and would vote for again in, in large part because of the agenda that he brings and that yeah. uh, we're so thin on the ground with politicians in Toronto who care about the budget and the taxpayers, yeah. is that right there when, when you, you know you are surrounded by referees who hate you, yeah. football's his thing. Yeah. So I'm using a football yeah. analogy. He reached out and grabbed the other guy by the face. Right. He and has to be twice as careful yes. because it's, he's surrounded by bad faith guys. I got one last question for you. I think we're going to have an election. I, he, we heard the mayor say he's going to run again. Do you think that the mass of Torontonians who put him in there are going to say, oh, I'm sick of this guy, there's too much controversy around him? Or do you think they'll say, you know what, that's our guy? And the way they try to rip him out of there through the courts offends me as a voter because this is my choice. And you know what, I'm not sick of Mayor Rob Ford. Do you think he's going to win or lose? You know, I, it's, it's almost weird to say this, but I think if he was able to characterize that correctly, he might win because this is a guy that a lot of people in Toronto, especially all these people who are after him, never thought he could win in the first place. Yeah. So he might actually be able to get people's backs up and say, that's right, if I vote for somebody, I don't want you throwing him out on some picky yeah. thing like this. Let, let the voters throw him out if he throw out a yes, Jerry, exactly. great to see you again. Thanks for Thank being you. here.